play, we are finally on Damien Date 3. Damien Date 3. Super hyped, because uh, we're in love with Damien and Robert. I love Robert still, he's my favorite. Like, our dream daddies were Craig and Matt, and now that's definitely changed. <laughs> they went from least to yeast? Rise and like bread. <laughs> you just made that up! You can pull that out of your butt! <laughs> <laughs> That was fucking smooth! <laughs> Alright, tell, tell me that would be good. It was, but like it's even more impressive because you literally just. I had to think of something to make it make sense. <laughs> Rise of like bread! <laughs> I think you're ready to be a dad. Oh, I'm ready. <laughs> I've got my jokes on lockdown. You have all the necessary training. Don't trust anyone who likes their meat well done. That's a very good tip. <laughs> Does your mom like it? <laughs> yes. Oh, oh no. This makes so much. <laughs> so here it is. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe again. Oh, Isn't this my shirt? Your parents got us both shirts, and you just took both of them. Yeah, it's mine. I'll get you a new one. Wow. <laughs> Ever since we had that picnic in the graveyard, Danny and I have been spending a lot of time together. We go in nighttime strolls pretty regularly. Aww, oh my god, that's so cute. We do. He was so impressed with the first letter I wrote him that he insisted we only communicate by post oh, that sucks. instead of through dad book. I initially protested, but he gave me one of his old signet rings to use as a seal for my letters, and I just couldn't say no. Hanging out with that goth dad again? Please, Amanda. You know his name. And yes. Hmm. Be honest with me here, Pops. Is he actually a vampire? I remember you inviting him into our household that one time, but I've seen the lock boys, and I honestly would have preferred trying to see if he could have walked through the threshold of our own home under his own power. I have become Damien's familiar. I'm compelled under his curse. I'm sorry, sweetie. Aww. Turn into a bat. I don't think... Ugh. What's the point of being a vampire if you can't turn into a bat? Well, okay, I'm off. You know, the part of being immortal might be cool. Are you taking the car, or are you flying off into the night on the leather <laughs> wings of a bat? He's not big enough to carry me. Okay! One of those. While I'm out, can you throw away the garlic bread that's in the freezer so I don't die? That would be great. I'm keeping it there as insurance. You understand, right? That's my girl. Damien and I walk along the water's edge, chatting. Damien's cape, I mean cloak. He hates when people call it a cape. Damien's cloak flares behind him in the breeze. This is gonna seem like a silly question, but why do goths wear black? Gothic subculture has always been associated with death, so it makes sense that the style surrounding it would be greatly influenced by mourning. Huh. Interestingly enough, though, was that in the Victoria era, Queen Victoria herself mourned the death of her late husband for ten whole years, wearing black for the rest of her life. If that's not goth, I don't know what is. I died before you, then what you need to do to wear black for the rest of your life. <laughs> Shit. Well, I just have to go back to my teenage closet. Should be covered. I, do you think I'm gonna die like recently? Like it's gonna happen soon? No, but my clothes will always be here. Unless they've got eaten by bomb spiders. <laughs> I have another question. No. Go ahead. How are you so comfortable with death? You mentioned it in the graveyard that it helps you appreciate your life or something. <sighs> ah. I've experienced several losses over the course of my life, and I truly believe the only manageable way to cope with it is to accept that death is simply a part of living. It's the single universal truth for every human who has ever lived. I am going to die. You are going to die. And life carries on without us. Oh, fuck, Damien. Doesn't that make you feel scared? Not at all. Without the advances of modern science, death was everywhere in the Victorian era, and yet funerals were major social functions. Hmm. 
Victorians were obsessed with mementos of their loved ones, even going so far as to take elaborately staged photographs of their dead relatives. Oh. The minute of mourning was so complex that there were set periods of grieving that were deemed acceptable based on who in your life had passed. Now, we don't have any of that. If you lose someone, you end up feeling lost yourself because we have no modern equivalent of those formalities. We need to allow ourselves time to grieve, to feel that loss fully, but not allow it to consume us. So no, I'm not afraid of death. I believe it is a waste to spend your life dreading the end of it. The time we have here is brief and fleeting and occasionally cruel, but is at all times precious. To stare death in the face and live despite that, I think, is a noble existence. Let's save the morning for the dead. Wow, that's beautiful. I can see the moonlight in the bay glint off of Dam Damien's eyes. He smiles. We turn to the harbor and watch ships pass, breathing in the salty sea air. I look to Damien again and can't help but be entranced by his charm, his mystery. I find everything about him so fascinating. I lean in closer to Damien. Closing my eyes as I do so. Huh. I'm so sorry! I have to take this! Damn it! Damien steps away from me into his phone. Oh no, I hope it isn't Lucian again. After speaking in hushed tone for a few moments, Damien returns to me. Everything okay? <sighs> There's an emergency! Lucian? <sighs> no, thankfully, but I must take my leave. Oh. Okay, is there anything I can do to help? Hmm. Huh. Dads do have to stick together, right? You know it. Uh. Then come, there isn't time to waste! Kaylee's like so fucking enamored with him that like, he's like, I don't know what it is, but can I go? Damien's so in love with him that he's like, yeah. Oh. After a short drive in silence, we arrive at a rundown building on the outskirts of town. This is still just downtown. Where are we? It's better if I just show you. I push the surprisingly heavy door open and find myself in a dimly lit waiting room. A few rickety chairs line the walls and there doesn't seem to be anyone behind the front desk. There are a few paintings and pictures on the wall, but there's some nondescript I'm still not sure I'm still unsure of what kind of place this is. Hmm. Wait here for a moment, I'll be right back. Damien walks off down a corridor, his boot heels echoing through the halls of the seemingly empty building. Distant howls echo from some place I can't see, and a faint scratching sound, like claws on tile. I cautiously peek down the hall and find stall after stall of scared-looking dogs. A few of them notice me and skitter up to the chain-link fence, sticking their noses through the air, through to sniff at the air. What have I gotten myself into? Suddenly, the lights shut off. I panic, unsure of where I am or how I can get out. I stumble through the darkness, my breathing getting heavier and heavier. Damien. The lights finally turn back on. <laughs> what are you doing here? There you go. <laughs> hey, sailor. Mary, what are you doing here? Ugh. You are here for the fight club? I, uh, I don't want to get punched in the face. Ah. Great, because this is an animal shelter. What? Ah. We take care of stray animals and then people adopt the stray animals. Didn't you see the pets when you walked in? I just, sorry, I didn't really expect to see you volunteering at an animal shelter. Give it a rest, buddy. Wow. Okay, kid, way to put me in a box. Dames, you hear this, baloney? Just one moment. The thunder cracks and a door bursts open. Appearing from the shadows, I see. Ah! Oh my god. Ah! Oh, he's so cute! Oh no. Damien? Um. Hey! I love you. It's Damien. He looks completely different. No cloak, no Victorian era clothing, no makeup. I wasn't planning to share this side of me until much later, but I'm not as goth as you think. Nah, you're pretty goth, bro. Hmm. I, uh, I'm a systems administrator for the IT department of a realty company. <laughs> I wear tennis shoes to work and I listen to Bruce Springsteen. I enjoy going to the hardware store and looking at storage solutions. And I volunteer at this animal shelter in my spare time. I'm boring. 
are fascinated with Victorian history and the goth lifestyle. That much is true, it's just not all that I am. And I need you to know that. Oh, I, uh... Ah. Hey, take a little moment here, but there's some pressing business I need attending to. Oh, my. Oh, right. It's Duchess Cordelia. She's having babies? Again? It's Duchess Cordelia. <laughs> she's one of the pups. Gets out all the time. She's still going to learn how to open doors, and now she's unstoppable. That's not good. Hmm. When did she get out? Hmm. This morning, I went to go sing sea shanties to the cats, and when I came back, she had already bolted. I have to stay here with the pets, so I need you two to go and find her. Oh, fuck, is this a hard, a hard date? Of course! Where could she be? Ugh. She always ends up running off of the same place. Here, let me draw you a map. Oh, boy. Mary starts scribbling on the back of a pet adoption form. Ah. She's very smart. Ruthless, even. You need to stay on your toes and get her back by sundown, or else she turns into a werewolf and starts eating people. What? You're a perfect little peach, Caillou Bay. Hmm. You just don't want her to be stuck outside when it's cold. <laughs> oh. Hmm. I'll grab some treats and we can hit the road. That's why I had an animal treat and it's cold. Aww. Timmy and I look over the map Mary created for us. That was cute. Oh my god. <laughs> Coffee spoon, softball. So everywhere that the other dads are, she could be. So. Coffee dad, nerd's Mar house? <gasps> wait, wait, who's Mario Batali? I don't know. Kale is Craig. Coffee dad is Matt. Nerd's house is us. So we live next to Matt and Mary. Mary's sick pad. And then Smalls is Robert. Robert lives, yeah, two house, two houses down. Damien lives next to Robert. Other nerd's house? Probably Hugo. And then so then is Mario is Brian. Brian. So the ocean or whatever. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> so <laughs> fucked up. We were at Damien's house looking out the window and saw all the way across the street into Craig's backyard doing push-ups. Yes. He has a very big house. Oh my. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, at least we know where everyone lives now. <laughs> at least you're not other nerds' house. <laughs> Looks like you're moving up into pecking order. <laughs> So then the coffee spoon is just down the street, softball field, the shelter, aquarium. The ocean oh, look at Damien has a little harp eyes name. She likes it. Oh, of course she does. Congrats, kiddo. Where should we head first? Let's go to. Let's just go to the Coliseum. Let's just do them all in order. Damien and I exit the parking lot and we start driving toward town. I look over at him. He seems concerned. Shouldn't be too hard finding the Duchess, right? She's a pretty pig pup. Mary wasn't kidding when she said that dog was smart. One time she correctly guessed the winner of the Kentucky Derby. It was a really great year for Bok Bok Bok. Mm, I don't know. What do you think our odds are, Caillou Bay? Gotta stay popular. Dad once told me, Kaiube, you can't shove raisins up your nose. And that hurt my feelings. I felt discouraged. But I kept a positive attitude. And you know what? I made it happen. Ew. <laughs> you might have landed me in the ER and forced me to have ten golden raisins removed from my nasal cavity. And on that day, I learned that anything is possible if you have a good attitude and abnormally large nostrils. <laughs> Young children really are resilient, I suppose. Yes, young children. <laughs> I was 16. Let's just hope for the best. We got this. Ah! We drive through the cul-de-sac and everything seems pretty normal. It looks like Brian's doing some yard work. He has a dog. Did your dog play with our dog? We pull into Brian's driveway and hop out. Aww. Hey, don't step on the grass. It just mowed. Have you seen any unusual activity in the area today? Have you seen a dog? Hmm. Aside from your... Are you oh, fucking my God. serious, Brian? Oh, I hate you more and more the more I talk to you. God damn. 
Oh, here we go. Just a dog, dude. How dare you? I take my lawn care very seriously. Hmm. Are you may please? Huh. You haven't seen a dog run through here, have you? Uh huh. Well, a little while ago, I heard Maxwell barking or something. When I came outside, my garden was torn to shreds. It's going to take forever to retail the soil. Oh, a shit about your soil! That could be a dog or a rather feisty raccoon. Whatever it was, it must have been hungry. Here are my tomatoes. I'm very sorry to hear about your garden. If you need assistance restoring it to its former glory, please don't hesitate to contact me. Okay. But also, his little outfit, like, I like that he knew, like, I'm going to go look for a dog, so I don't really need anything, and he still has a little, hello, my name is Damien. Thank Just you. in case you didn't know. <laughs> Will do, buddy. Good luck finding that dog. Oh, no. She's probably still hungry. I wonder if she's looking for more food elsewhere. Well, if she's looking for food, she'd be at the coffee spoon. Park in front of Matt's coffee shop and walk inside. Seems like a slow day. Matt's just behind the counter reading a book. Hey, Matty O! <laughs> Didn't expect to see you two here today. What's up? Huh. Have you seen any stray dogs around? Actually, yeah. I caught one digging through the trash earlier. It ran away when I tried to get closer, though. Did you see what direction it ran in? Matt thinks for a second. Hey. It might have been running east, I think. That's caught for through three pans of. Grateful banana bread. Wanna take some for the road? That's what we just in case. That's what we picked on this plate. Yeah. Here. Sure thing. Matt packages up the slice. Thanks for the slice. The road slice. Oh, um, four dollars. This banana bread is gonna be so good. I think you meant to give it to you for the dog. <laughs> right. I meant it's gonna be so so good for the dog to eat. I feel like we're on the right track. You think? If we keep this up, we'll find the Duchess in no time. Hey, if you like dogs so much, why don't we have any? Yushin is severely allergic. I wouldn't put him through that. Aww. But there is still dogs in my life, so for that, I'm grateful. <laughs> There's about to be one more dog in your life, buddy. Splendid attitude! Let us not waste any more time! Barely. <laughs> okay, so if we went east, then the either the Bayside or the Aquarium. Maybe Bayside? Let's try Bayside. <coughs> we arrive back at the Bayside. Just like old times, eh? Uh -huh. I remember it as if it were yesterday. It was two hours ago. I mean, earlier today. So what do you think? Any sight of the pooch? Hmm. Not yet, although who knows if she made it onto any of these ships. Oh dear. The Duchess would do that? I wouldn't put it past her to know how to navigate in rough seas <laughs> and without a compass. Very smart. Cops? Damien and I turn around to see my daughter. Amanda! What are you doing here? Hmm. Did you think I just stayed inside all day, vegging out on the couch and watching TV? Yes. Sorry. What are you doing? I'm heading home to go veg out on the couch and watch TV. Uh. I'm to get a burrito first. Uh -huh. I love burritos. Young miss, have you seen a dog around here? Oh, you bet! I saw a Pomeranian with a bow around its neck, I saw a big old Doberman named Harry, and there's a store full of Yokies, a Greyhound, a Golden Retriever. Did you see a Mastiff anywhere? Uh. Hmm, no dice. I would have definitely remembered that. Uh. I gotta run though. This burrito has about 10 minutes before the cheese breaks down the molecular structure of the tortilla and it makes it all soggy. You understand. I do. Hmm. Of course, have a lovely evening, Miss Lester. Matt said the Duchess went east from the coffee spoon, but there's no sign of her here. I suppose we need to go not so east. So we did it right, it's just she's not fucking there. So then the aquarium. Okay, so aquarium. Damien and I stopped by the aquarium. Everything looks in order here, but it might help to get out of the car and take a look. You see anything? Mm, no dog here. Not even a sign of her. Hmm. Did you know that penguins are considered the goths of the sea? <laughs> to who, Damien? <laughs> to me! <laughs> Damien, I want to believe you so badly. <laughs> oh my god. 
I fear that the hours are growing short. We must make haste if we're to find Duchess by sundown. Damien's looking more stressed out for the minute. I gotta think of something to lighten the mood. Um. What kind of dog does a vampire have? I would imagine it would be unwise for a vampire to take up the company of a smaller mammal. For the means of companionship, it would be too tempting to... A bloodhound. I was gonna say a bloodhound, Damien. Oh. oh God damn it. Ha ha. Jeez. I keep reading Damien's directions from the map as we drive around town. Just gotta go to the softball field. We drive to the softball field. Looks like Craig's team is practicing. I wonder if any of the kids saw something. Craig's passed up and jogs over. Softball bat slung over his shoulder. Oh, hi, River. I've missed you. Oh. Hey, Bruce. What's up? Craig, you wouldn't have happened to see a dog around here, have you? One escaped from the animal shelter and we're trying to locate her. I'm so sorry you have to do all three voices for these hmm. people. No, I don't think so. Maybe one of the girls saw something. Hmm. Girls! Here you go. Hi, Amanda's dad! Hi, Lucian's dad. We have names. Girls, have you seen any dogs around? There was a big dog here earlier. She ran off a while ago, though. I don't think she had an owner, but it really wanted to play. We tried to play fetch with her, but she just took the softball and ran. I think she ate it, actually. She was a lot of dog. Oh. Here, take another softball. It might come in handy later. <laughs> Many thanks, Craig! Give me back to the coolest look? Maybe. Probably gonna have to redo this. Yeah. We arrive at the cul de sac to find everything looking normal, except. Uh oh. Hugo's front door is wide open. She can open doors. <laughs> this is classic Duchess Cordelia! A telltale sign. We should approach which caution. Oh god! A stroke is coming on! This happens! <laughs> Sorry, we had to have a moment with her cat. She is so beautiful. Whatever goes down in there, I've got your back. We creep up onto the porch and step oh, inside. Oh, I'm so sorry! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, hello! They're sitting in the- you okay? It's a dog! Do you it's love cute. It? It's huge. I it love looks her. way less stupid than Robert's. <laughs> <laughs> I love her! They're sitting in the center of Hugo's living room like she owns the damn place. It's one of the biggest dogs I've ever seen. <laughs> well, she hasn't broken anything in here. Huh. Wonderful. Now all we have to do is get the leash on her before she tries to escape again and get out of here before Hugo comes home. Okay. Easy peasy. Duchess, come here. The Duchess eyes Damien wearily. As he approaches, she begins to growl. Huh. She's on her guard. We'll need another plan. Uh, give her the grateful banana bread. Ooh. Oh shit! I reach into my pocket and pull out a slice of grateful banana bread Matt gave me. Dash just sniffs the air and hones in on the bread. Come here, girl. I'm not so easy. I've got some yummy homemade vegan and possibly gluten-free banana bread. That's what you're into. So I talk to dogs to do. <laughs> <laughs> the Duchess cautiously approaches me and gives the bread a good sniff before gently taking it from my hand and dropping it on the ground, like dogs always do for some reason. She curls up and starts munching on the bread. 
Success! Damien walks up under the Duchess and attaches the leash to her collar. She immediately notices and starts whining. <laughs> it's time to go home now, Duchess! Damien gives a tug on the leash. She won't. Oh, gee. Ow! Jeez, I don't know. I just had a random tinge of pain. Oh, no! Duchess, what happened to our report? Repertoire? Repertoire? Report. Report? <laughs> For another stroke? Oh, today has been full of strokes. <laughs> you and I used to be... BOSOM BUDDIES! She still doesn't move. She's huge. There's no way to even try to lift her. Well, this is a weird situation to be in. I think we're literally trespassing in our friend's house with this large dog. We'll just throw the ball. What are you there oh, doing? Oh god dang it, it's Ernest. Ernest stands in the door with a plate of pizza rolls! <laughs> Flavor pizza rolls, I guess. Glass, bro. Dude. Nice. The Duchess notices Ernest and starts pulling against the leash. Why is there a dog in my house? It's long. The Duchess suddenly breaks free from Damien's grip and hurls oh, no! Ernest. Ah! <laughs> Ernest and the Duchess fall on the ground. Pizza rolls fly everywhere. This is bad. Ernest, are you okay? Ernest feeds the Duchess pizza roll. Hey, she likes pizza rolls. Ernest sits up, but the dog keeps licking his face. Oh. oh. Hey. Ego stands at the door, looking like he's at a loss for words. Huh? What? Why are you guys. Whose dog is this? It's a long story, but it involves a large dog who knows how to open doors. <laughs> May I present to you, Duchess Cordelia. Uh, how do you do? We're friends. <laughs> the Duchess looks at Ernest's face. She's from the local animal shelter. She got out and we've been chasing her all around town. Hmm. Your house was her final stop. Dad, can we keep her? <sighs> Ernest, I don't know if we're set up to take care of her. Huh? Wait, did you just call me dad? <gasps> Come on, please. Look how cute she is. Hero size. Hmm. We've been talking about adopting a dog for a while. You have to promise me you'll take care of her. Yeah, I'll give her all the pizza for all her little heart desires. Oh my god. I suddenly remember what's on the back of this map, and I pull out a pen from oh. my pocket. Got the forms ready for you if you're interested. Hmm. I'll even waive the adoption fee since, you know, we technically broke into your household. <laughs> <laughs> well, alright, it's a deal. Woo! <laughs> the and signs the floor while Ernest plays with the judges inside. Aww. Aww. He sure seems to be happy with his new friend. Ah. I know, he called me dad. Can you believe it? Damien places a hand on Hugo's shoulder. <laughs> I certainly can. I think this would be really good for Ernest. It should teach him some responsibility. You should probably look into getting better locks on your doors. Brave, a fucking dog can open it. Like, a burglar with, like, thumbs would have no problem. The Duchess is a wily one. Wily one? Not Willy, I have something else on the brain. Freudian slip and all. Did you know in the Victorian era, Freudian slips were just... Out the, out the wazoo, kazoo. Okay. Uh, oh, <laughs> my lines are gone. What? 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 Oh. Oh, no. You're, you're welcome for the dog. You're welcome. <laughs> Love it. Oh, God. Long story short, the Duchess now lives in a happy home, and neither of us were charged for breaking <laughs> So, all in all, I think that was a fine day's work. Nice work, you two. Mm. Hey, Ray, you can be a valuable asset to our team of volunteers, you know. If you're really like petting some puppies, hit me up. Hell yeah. Very, I always feel like petting puppies. Mm. Good to know. Well, I'll catch you fellas later. Mary starts to leave. And one last thing. Mm -hmm. Damien's been telling me about you. I finally brought you around. Oh, ye. Ugh. Damien's a special boy. I love him. We go way back, and we got a vested interest in his health, success, and well-being. If you ever hurt him, 
Mary! Hey. You can fill in the blanks. I hope. Yeah! <laughs> Sorry, I swallowed too hard. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. Mary leaves you alone with Damien. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. Did you really mess yourself up doing yeah. that? Oh, no, no. I, like, I was actually choking you before. Well, drink water. Alright. I'll tea. <laughs> So, just about the whole goth thing. I am completely understand if you aren't interested in me. Well, why would I not anymore? be interested in you anymore, Damien? You are so cute, Damien. What are you talking about? <laughs> what? Am I missing something here? <sighs> I'm not a cool goth prince. I'm boring. I own five pairs of tennis shoes. I wear dumb glasses. Don't you care? It's so cute. You look so nervous. Damien, do you really think I only like you because of all that goth stuff? That's all cool, but the best thing about you is how passionate you are about the things you love. History, art, Victorian fashion, dogs, storage solutions, it doesn't matter what it is. You care, and that's awesome. And also, the glasses are very cute. You don't think I'm boring at all? If you're boring, then I don't know what that makes me. <laughs> I spend too much time online shopping for flashlights. I get excited to mow my lawn on Saturdays. I get cranky about commercials being too loud. I've even been thinking about making my own peanut butter. Hmm. Then maybe we can be boring together. Okay. It would never be boring if I was with you. Oh! Oh my god! Damien suddenly closes the gap between us and pulls me into a hug. He buries his face in my shoulder. His hair smells like lavender and rosemary. I was so scared you wouldn't like me. Quite the opposite. Damien pulls away for a second and looks me in the eyes. Without the colored contacts, his eyes are so dark and soulful. Oh. May I kiss you? Thou art welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Verily, you may take upon yourself the... You know what? Just kiss me. He smiles slightly and leans in, giving me a gentle kiss. Damien pulls away and gives me an intense look. Do you want to help me take care of the puppies? <laughs> yes! Now is that what we're calling it these days? Damien and I are right back to the oh. sack, our fingers intertwined. Like a proper gentleman, he walks me to my doorstep. <sighs> this was lovely. Thank you for understanding. Thank you for everything. I'm very happy I can be myself around you. I'm glad, but I have one request. Huh. What's that? Can we keep sending each other letters? <laughs> but of course! Damien kisses me one last time before turning around and heading home. <laughs> Amanda runs back to the Dang couch for the window and tries to look as nonchalant as possible. Amanda! Hello, Father! I was sitting here on the couch this entire time. Hi, Amanda. So, are you guys, like, starting a vampire coming together? Oh, plot twist. Mothman. Damien's actually Mothman. I didn't see it coming either. Genius. Well, whatever's happening, I'm really glad you two are happy. You deserve it, Dad. Ah, shucks. This is, like, the first relationship she's actually, like, commented, commented on. on. Yeah. Yeah, everyone else is just like, hey, cool, I'm glad you have friends. Yeah, like, this, she's like, this is a relationship. I'm gonna head to bed. Catch you in the morning? Uh, sure thing. I make my way to my room and fall into bed with my head, with my heart full, excited for the days to come. I'm gonna guess that's from Craig. My stars, this... Never in a million moons have I had a date such as exquisite as this one. We got nice even though we fucked up. Just that one time. Probably because we, we found the dog. We did it! We got all S. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, oh, oh unless we got an A, then it spells ass. Dang. That's cool. <laughs> hey, 
interview with the vampire. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, show your best at everything. Call someone if you're thinking about them. Make them want to hear from you. Hello. Oh, look at Damien! He's normal! Oh! Oh, no. I take a seat next to Damien as the last guests make their way out of the party. Did you know that in the Victorian era they would call benches CT boys? What? Really? I'm kidding, how you babe, but what if it's good to see you in your scenes again? <laughs> Thank you! I had a revelation the other day, Kayubi, and I think it was largely due to your continued influence upon me. There was a version of myself that might have been embarrassed to show you my true form. My information technology form. But what you said about me, about how my passion was what you truly admired, that embodied me to feel like myself regardless of how I chose to dress and act. Instead of separate entities, they are simply different facets of myself. A three-dimensional human being with his own thoughts, wants, and needs. I love dressing the way that I do, but feeling constricted by what I thought was my own personal brand made me lose sight of why I did this in the first place. To make myself happy. I place my hand on Damien's and feel a light squeeze. Looking up, I'm greeted by Damien's warm smile. Ugh. I'm trying to be more comfortable with who I am, rather than dwelling on who I could be at other people. To other people. <laughs> I can't stop smiling. I'm so proud of him. Damien, I'm so happy you realized that you can be a dog-loving guy. <laughs> Me too, Caillou, babe. Me too. I feel myself inching closer and closer to Damien. I go to brush a lock of hair out of his face, and I'm shocked at how soft it is. I do wash it. <laughs> how is your hair so soft? <laughs> Dog sh- Oh, oh shampoo. Dear. It might fall out, but it's soft before it does. <laughs> I keep running my hands through his hair as he leans closer to me, placing a hand on the side of my face. He strokes my cheek with his thumb. <laughs> you know, public displays of affection were considered scandalous in the Victorian era. Damien pulls me in for a kiss. <gasps> scandalous! But I think I can make an exception for you. So is it? When do we fucking learn? I guess we don't! What? But they made such a big deal out of it! Maybe we didn't get it? What is this art? Oh my fucking god, he's adorable! This is so cute. <laughs> That's funny! Like, can you imagine? He like hands you a camera and he's like, okay, but this is from MySpace. Okay, it was just like, the fuck is MySpace? <laughs> well, that was Damien's root. Uh, he's so adorable and pure and precious. We love him. What, what were your thoughts on him? He's probably one of my favorites. He was cute. Okay, guys, so that ends this part of Dream Daddy. Uh, I'm not sure which dad we're gonna do next, either Hugo or Joseph. We're not very excited for, yeah. for Brian, so I don't even know if we'll ever actually do his room. Yeah. But yeah, we'll uh, do rock, paper, scissors, figure out which one we're gonna do next.